All right, Royals, we are jumping right in. As you can tell from the title, this is an undecorate and unbox with me. I am starting in my living room, you guys. I am removing all fall decor. I know you're saying it's still fall, but for you all, it's fall. But for an influencer, it's very much in the holiday season. So here I am removing all of my fall decor in preparations for my holiday styling. You guys, I am so excited to share with you that I have culminated a couple of series for this holiday season. You guys know that I always do the Deck the Hall series and I try to encompass both my space and my commercial or residential spaces that I style throughout the year. Well, this year I'm breaking it up into two different series and the first series is going to be 12 Days of Glam and that is where I will take you through 12 different videos with content showcasing and highlighting me styling my own personal space. You don't want to miss that. But I'm also going to share with you the Deck the Hall series where I will take you along to show you me styling commercial and residential spaces. So you don't want to miss it. Set your notification bells for that, guys. Now back to the cleaning and packing at hand. As you can see, I have wrapped all of my glass materials. I love to sort things with like items together and here I am doing my neutrals my soft goals and my cream color pumpkin so that way when I'm ready to pull them out for the next season I know that if I'm looking for cream they're all in the same place if I'm looking for blue I have them all housed in the same place as well these storage bins you guys can be found on Amazon they are the 105 quart um, sterile storage bins they are very very sturdy and durable and I just find that the larger ones are more convenient just pack them to your carrying or loading capacity which means you'll see me from time to time lift the box up to make sure it's not too heavy and that I can get the ample amount of items in these containers. Now I'm using also the packing bubbles. I think it's essential if you have delicate or fragile items that you want to secure season after season. We make large investments in our home decor so why not protect and preserve them in the best way possible so do yourself a favor and invest in some bubble wrap when packing your items now if you have ample storage to where you can store things on shelves openly more power to you that is a goal of mine however that's not where i am right now so i have to be as strategic as possible when packing and storing my items from season to season and this i found to be the most efficient way for me And as you see, I am taking my time and wrapping everything up properly. It is essential. Again, they ain't free, y'all. So protect and preserve them the best way you can. So now that I have this area default, let's move on to the entryway. Here, guys, I am trying to do the same. Just decluttering, removing things. I like to give myself that transitional phase in my home before going from one season into another it's where I just remove everything and kind of create a blank canvas if you will that gives me that creative fluidity to look at the space and determine how or what I want in each said space And here I am again, just adjusting, making sure everything will fit properly without damaging another item. So sometimes you have to readjust, but it's okay. Take your time and pack everything as neatly and as safely as possible. I like to put the larger things at the, in the base of my containers, and that way I can just add the smaller items on top, as you see me doing here. And I always say, if it don't fit, don't force it. Here you see me taking that out because I don't want to risk damaging that beautiful mercury glass pumpkin. So I'll find another home for it, but I want to get as much of this thing packed in the same container as possible.
lifting it. Make sure that it is comfortable enough for me to carry. Because sometimes the hubby can help me and sometimes he cannot. So I have to do what I can when I can. You guys, I absolutely love these swags. I picked them up from Hobby Lobby. In case you're wondering. Here I'm, as you see, just folding the stem so that I can get everything again placed in the same container. Now that everything is packed away, I'm going to just simply restyle my entryway table, my buffet table, just to give it a simplest, simplistic, elegant look and feel. And I know you guys see the elephant in the room. It is my, what I call my little sanitation or sanitary station. When I have guests in my home, if they're not masked, I just simply ask them to grab a mask, hand sanitizer, and I have Lysol because we still have to keep our family safe and sound. And it would be a good idea if you don't already create you one in your space. It could be when you walk in the entryway of your home and your kitchen, just wherever you have an ample area to create a said space. Now, I would love for everything to be cute and coordinated, but honey, we're in a whole pandemic, so it is what it is. They see what it is. They know what to do. I don't even have to tell them. Now that I have that loaded, let's get this packed away, you guys, because I am so excited about the next phase. Well, I guess I got to do a little bit more cleaning. However, I'm excited because, again, this is an un decorate and unboxing so i am preparing i went ahead and took the fall tree down you guys off camera it was just middle of the night i just felt like doing it and sometimes that happens i didn't turn the camera on i just removed it because it's not about that tree i have someone special to introduce you to i am cleaning this area just getting it prepared for the guest of honor and I am using my um, One Evolve cordless vac from Hoover, you guys. I love this. Lightweight, easy. As you can see, I'm gliding over my floor with total ease. But it ain't about Hoover. I just want to share with you what it is because I know someone will ask. But now, you guys, for the guest of honor, I am so excited to announce that I have partnered yes, yet again with King of Christmas. This is my third year in a row partnering with them. And I... I am so excited about this new addition to the family. You guys meet Prince Hudson. I am calling him Prince Hudson because this is the seven foot Prince flock tree. You guys, I absolutely love this tree on the website. It is a seven foot flock tree. It comes with 400 warm LED lights, you guys. And as far as quality, King of Christmas is second to none. They're going to send you out a storage bag for future storage. They're going to send you out, of course, an instruction booklet for assembly. And to me, the game changer of it all, you guys, is they're going to send you what I love, and that is the gloves. This is a total game changer, especially for me being a holiday stylist. No more worried about being scratched up from the bristles of the tree. So there you have your manual, your bag, and your gloves. It also going to come with the base that you need to anchor or style your tree on everything is very very lightweight easy to assemble as you see i carried it in myself and i am setting it up all by myself yay me this tree you guys is simply amazing i know this because although i'm unboxing it now i know this because i have the seven foot prince flocked unlit tree from last year's collab i loved it so i knew that this was going to be a total game changer with the lights on it and upon unboxing, you guys, I am surprised to find that it is coming with some nice little additions. Here it has a little foot stepper for your on and off abilities, which I think that is amazing because convenience is key in this world of technology that we live in. The easier, the better. So now let's get it attached into the base. The base is going to come with a screw to help you to adjust and tighten the base of the tree as you need to. Once you get it anchored in there, you are all set to fold down each branch and begin to fully assemble the tree. 
and I know some of us have a certain feeling about a flock tree but as you can see here it is little to no fallout and we know that with a flock tree it's almost inevitable you're going to have some fallout but you don't want all of your flock to fall off the tree you want it to remain and as you can see it's very little that has fallen off of course there'll be a little bit more once I well you'll see as I'm continue to assemble but nothing in comparison to what I've seen in my years of styling trees so I am so thrilled and elated with this product and I have not even gotten it fully assembled yet I just know that it's going to be beautiful guys another great feature is that the assembly is so easy so here you see the attachment for part a you're going to attach it to part b simply insert screw on and you are all set no more fighting with cords to try to determine which one goes with which insert it is so easy you guys and i love that now i'm opting to keep the tag so that i can easily identify or someone else that's putting the tree up for me can identify where the cords or attachments are but as you can see it is easy to assemble so here i have part b attached i'm locating the adapter or the insert for the lighting and i am now adding part c Screwing it in and there you have it you guys this was so easy to assemble and as you can see I am well you may not can see but I am in the back you guys plugging it in and just to my surprise I find that there are different settings to the light I was not aware of that when ordering this tree I just knew that it was LED warm light but the fact that it has features is an added bonus so i am truly elated now let's talk about the most important part of any tree styling and i know that it's tedious and no one wants to do it but fluffing is essential you guys as you see me suiting up because it is so vitally important to your tree you can have the most beautiful ornaments the most luxurious ornaments in the world but they will not do justice in an unfluffed tree so it is important to fluff out the tree and as you can see i am touching every single branch i go from the base of the branch all the way out to the tip i use a north south east west motion that means every branch is being fluffed out in an opposite direction of each other which ensures that you're going to close in those gaps in your tree the thing about king of christmas you guys is that they have carefully constructed these tree branches to where they are just full and lush with branch after branch after branch of fluffed beauty so you will not have a problem at all fluffing this tree out it is easy and as you can see it takes shape the side that i'm working on versus the side that is not fluffed you guys it's going to come to you packaged and smashed now because that's how they have to ship it but again i cannot stress to you the importance of taking the time to fluff out your tree also another good tip as you see me here i am starting my preparations early it is still very much mid-october however i know that if i don't get it done i will not get it done so i don't want to rush and be stressed i want this to be enjoyable because it's my favorite time of year and i want to enjoy every moment of it so my process is to plan ahead prep early and enjoy the process And if you're like me, you're styling multiple trees. So I am going to assemble and fluff several trees in my home each day just to give myself ample time to, again, enjoy the process. Proper process leads to pleasure. And that's what I want to do. I'm going to bring you guys in close so you can see what I'm doing as it relates to fluffing out the branches. I am literally, again, going into the base of the tree. See, I'm going into the spine of the tree and I am starting from the end. I'm going up, down, left, right. So north, south, east, west. And I do that with each and every branch. Every branch matters. All branches matter. Repeat after me, all branches matter. It is important to touch every one. You may not think it make a difference, when you're doing it because nobody again wants to do it 
However, once you begin styling your tree, it'll actually save you money and time. You won't have to buy an excessive amount of fillers for the tree. You won't have to buy an excessive amount or even use an excessive amount of ornaments because a properly fluffed tree, you guys, can stand alone and you won't even have to do a lot of adorning to it if you prepare it properly. You can thank me for that tip later. And I cannot tell you how much I am enjoying this process, you guys. I love this time of year. And as you can see, what I end up with is a beautifully locked seven foot prince that is ready for the main stage. I am so ready to style this tree, but I resisted the urge to place one single ornament on it. I just wanted to, again, Get everything prepared and everything set up. But how absolutely gorgeous is this tree? So full, so lush, and definitely worth the investment. This will bring you much holiday pleasure season after season. Here I'm showing you guys the actual lighting features and in more in-depth detail Earlier I was just playing with it because I didn't know that they were there. But now I want to show you. You have your flashing on and off. You have your dimming setting that's off. That's standard. See they fade in and out which I love the twinkling. It's the, um, I don't know if it's called the ombre twinkling and that's like the fast flash setting. I love it you guys. I am like a kid in the candy store when it comes to the holiday season for so many reasons but for one it is a time when the world whether they believe or not acknowledges the birth of our lord and savior jesus christ and i am just here for all of the celebration whether it's his actual birthday or not the fact that it is acknowledged and celebrated i am here for it all so happy birthday jesus i can celebrate him for all year long which i do through my life however i just think it is a beautiful time it is so fun and exciting for the kids and the kids at heart. Well, guys, as you can see, the prince is standing tall. I have removed all resemblance of fall. And guys, your girl is ready to deck the halls. I am so excited about the series that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Actually, the two series that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. I want you to set your notification bells, guys. Click them twice because you don't want to miss a single upload. Guys, I have strategically put together room by room. Some rooms will have a couple of videos. Some will just be one single styling and um, showcasing. But again, you don't want to miss it. There's going to be so many amazing themes. Each room has a theme. Each room has its own set style. You don't want to miss it. I want to share with you all the creativity that I have been blessed with. And up through the holiday season, my wheels have been turning since last Christmas. So I am so ready to share with you all of the holiday festivities. So join me for the 12 Days of Glam, as well as the Deck the Hall series. Well, guys, if this is your first time visiting and you see what you like and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and join the royal family. As you can see, we are full of inspiration, motivation, and so much creativity. Now to my tried and true's and my brand new blues, you guys know that I so love and appreciate you. Thank you all for your continued support. If you have not already, connect with me on my other social media platforms. I can be found at Royalty Designs with Trevina on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And so now, until the next video, I want you all to please remain royal. Stay safe. Do all the necessary things to keep your family safe, sound, and secure. And until the next video, I want you all to please have yourself a blessed and most beautiful beautiful day. I would be remiss if I did not thank King of Christmas for another amazing collaboration. You guys, I am so loving this Prince Flock tree, but I will tell you that since recording, I have switched up some things and added a few more treats and you don't want to miss it. Let me just say, the Prince has company. Now preparations have just begun. So I'll see you on Friday with another one. So, until the next video, 
Bye.